This single workflow allows me to create and publish highly professional LinkedIn posts. And even if you look on the content I created with this automation, it's really outstanding. Here we've got a title, we've got a description, um, even generated tags or just the perfect infographic, unrevealing the differences between artificial intelligence and machine learning. Join the discussion. So this post is really high quality, all right? We've got everything we need. And everything, like the entire process, is automatical with this um, all-in-one template. Also here, another post. So here, boost your productivity, five essential healthy habits for beginners. And again, perfect infographic. So in this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to create this entire automation so you can just use it to create viral um, LinkedIn posts and save a lot of time. So in this material, I will walk you through the entire process. And now even you can ask, all right, but why it's so powerful? And now let me explain. OpenAI released recently their API reference for their image model that can generate high quality text, which is really accurate. So for example, here, I've got there the logo, um, AI learning, all right? You've got a lot of different images. You can generate like very accurate text. And with other AI, um, yeah, AI generation models, you don't have um, this opportunity. So for example, look on this meme. It's so perfect. And you can generate that with LinkedIn. Actually, uh, publish that on LinkedIn. Nevertheless, it's so, so nice. Even I created the YouTube thumbnail for me from simple prompt. And now you can do this. You can like connect that using an ident to LinkedIn. And like, you know, imagine how great possibilities you have with this model. And again, in this video, I will show you step by step how to set it up, how to do this. And, you know, we'll just, I will just walk you through um, the entire process. So for now, let's dive in and I will show you all of the steps we have in this entire workflow. And first things first, let's go over and test it out. So here um, I can disable the LinkedIn for now and let's test the workflow, so provide some data. And here we've got the email, post topic and target audience. So let's provide my email and here let's provide um, three interesting facts um, about, let's say, productivity, all right? And provide the target audience, which is beginners. When I submit that, the entire automation starts to um, to yeah um, to just create for me the LinkedIn post. Firstly, what we do, we create the LinkedIn post description, and we use OpenAI chat model, and also we search the web um, with the application. So here we search for um, actually some nice data. Then what we do, we create image prompt again with our AI agent. So overall, we've got three AI agents. We generate the title with OpenAI again. And then what we do, we use um, yeah, open, open AI API reference for generating an image. We convert that to the file and then we publish that on LinkedIn. And at the end, we send the post actually, uh, we send the confirmation on our email that all right, hey, the post is published. Um, and there, um, yeah, all of the data here. So as you can see there, um, we are waiting for that and it's um, successfully um, sent to our email. And now actually let's discuss what we have in each step in this automation. So firstly, we've got on form submission. So whenever someone actually us submits um, the form, we would like to um, trigger this automation. So here we've got the title, form title, form description. You've got three actually elements. So email, there you've got the post and topic. You've got the target audience, all right? So it's simple as that. Then what we have, we've got create LinkedIn post description. So here we are using our A agent that generates for us um, the perfect description for the post. And here we've got the post topic and we provide um, the data from um, our form, so post topic, and here a target, a target audience. Also, we've got system message that is really long. And if you would like actually um, to use the system message, you can go over and check our A agent accelerator community. Inside the classroom and in the YouTube resources, you've got actually the file that explains everything step by step. You've got all of the system messages, um, actually how to set up um, each step in this project. So if you would like to set it up, actually go over here and just copy and paste like, um, you know, this system message. Just paste it here, test it out, and there you should have the description, all right? Um, and additionally, what we do, we like connect this A agent to OpenAI chat model. You can use GBT 4o mini or GBT 4o the choice is yours. And also we are um, using the tool, which is called um, here Tavili. 
and because we would like to search for the information from the internet. So in the description we say, use this tool to search the web. We choose the method which is post, we provide the URL, also here inside our community, you've got everything explained. So there, um, yeah, let me show you. You've got the search web, how to set it up. You've got all of the data you need to copy and paste. Um, so here what we have, we've got the generic credential type, um, general um, here header authentication. And there what we do is in the body. We are using JSON and we provide the JSON code. Also, we provide a placeholder and definition. So here search term, description. So what the user is searching for. It allows actually us to provide here um, the variable, you know, um, so we can provide here the, um, yeah, the search term. And afterwards, um, we've got actually, um, yeah, the response. So here and um, the data from the internet. And in general, we are using that for this A agent that is connected to the next A agent that creates image prompt. So we'll be using this prompt in here inside the HTTP request. Again, inside um, our community, you've got everything explained along with the template. So if you go to the bottom of this page, you can see you've got the LinkedIn post generator. Just click on that, click download. And here, when you're there, just import from file. And there, you can just import that. You know, you've got it. Um, you've got the entire automation set up and you can do this stuff very easily. Also inside our community, inside, um, actually here in the classroom, you've got a lot of different resources. Inside our community, we've got plus 110 templates to use. So in general, also we've got the NADEN Masterclass Beginner to Pro course, course that lasts 17 hours. And if you click here, you've got also the lesson that explains actually everything step by step. So not I'm guiding you through the entire automation, however we build it. So you've got LinkedIn Post Generator. Um, so just feel free to check it out. Nevertheless, let's go back and see what we have inside. So then we've got our um, here, and uh, we've got our next A agent that creates the image prompt using um, OpenAI chat model. Also there what we have, we've got the prompt. So we just connect um, the output from um, LinkedIn post description right here. And then we provide the system message. We've got um, this long system message. So we've got the purpose. You're an AI agent designed to convert LinkedIn posts into visual prompts descriptions. You've got also the goals here, the visual criteria um, output requirements. So everything you can just copy and paste. Um, you can just modify it, right? So this is the prompt prepared for you. Um, yeah. Again, you can just copy and paste that inside our community. Let's go back here uh, because we'll be using that a lot in this in this project. Um, all right. So we've got actually this A agent that creates for us the prompt we'll be using here. Next, A agent is really simple. It creates for us um, the title, all right? Because we would like to use it inside our LinkedIn post and for any other circumstances. So after we um, provide our um, here, our um, description from the LinkedIn post A agent, so this entire description, um, we get the title. Boost your productivity, simple strategies for big improvements. Very concise, very nice, very nicely structured title. It's also nice, this A agent is really useful. After our free A agents, so we've got create content black. Um, here after that, we've got um, yeah the note for um, generating an image with API, actually OpenAI API image model. So here what we do, we provide the HTTP request and there we provide the method post, URL, you've got the authentication. So all of the data also you can find, um, let me show you, you can find um, here. I provided it right there, so we can just copy and paste that. Um, so here you've got the authorization, you provide the value, so bearer, and there your API key. Also, um, actually what you can do, you can go over to the API, OpenAI API, and here in the dashboard, um, to pick your API key, you need to click here, and there create new API key, actually let me show you, create new API key in the right top corner. Let's go back to our automation right there. So here uh, we provide the authorization, we send the body and there we provide three parameters. So here first we've got the model. So we specify we, we would like to use GBT image one. We've got the prompt obviously. So we would like to use this output, create image prompt. Um, and at the end we've got the size. So we've got the specific value. Also when you go over here um, to OpenAI API documentation, 
And there in the image API, let's click here. You've got different sizes of images you can create. So for an example, you can provide a value which is more like a landscape here, like a portrait, all right? So the choice is yours. Also, we can provide the auto. Um, let's go back. We've got our three parameters. And after we run this step, we should get like the binary um, yeah, form of the file. So here, what we, what we would like to do afterwards, we would like to convert that to the file. We are using convert to file node, which is the operation which is move base 64 um, string to file. And there we've got base 64, and there I've got some problem. And we need to provide this data from generate image. And there, let's test the step. Um, so I will show you, we can view our image created. So here, boost your productivity, simple strategies for big improvements. Just look on this graphic, like it's so professional, like the text is so high quality, I, I can't even stand it sometimes. Um, so yeah, we just convert that to the file. And then what we have, actually, we've got the step for LinkedIn and post, for, for publishing LinkedIn posts. So here we provide all of the elements. And then even you've got two different circumstances. Because I'm actually connecting um, LinkedIn credentials can be sometimes really tricky. So even you can provide here the LinkedIn note or just provide there, um, actually, let me show you, you can provide there the drive. Because inside the drive, you would like to upload the file. So here you just upload the file and then you send this file, um, you know, you send the URL for this file inside the last step which is sent email um, actually to us. So inside you've got um, the variable from our forms. So this email, then um, you provide the subject. So LinkedIn post is ready. And at the end, you provide the message. So here you provide the title, you provide um, the LinkedIn post description, which is very important. And at the end, you provide the image URL. So here, actually, let me show you, I've got the um, a folder there with the um, artworks. And then actually you've got everything set up, the entire automation. Also remember you can use the LinkedIn, so automatically post, um, yeah, po publish the post and the choice is yours. For me, this entire project is so, so nice. Actually with that, you can generate high quality posts on LinkedIn. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Also leave the like for the YouTube algorithm. And for now I can say thank you for watching. Remember to check out our community um, where we have actually a lot of resources. Um, there, let me go over to the about page. We've got actually 17 hours and I then course. We've got here, um, yeah, let's see. We've got 50 exclusive resources and also plus 110 A agents templates. We are still adding new templates here. Um, so you can join this community price, price for now is pretty low, I can say, because we are in the launch mode. Nevertheless, it's so, so valuable. So feel free to check it out. I will put the link in the description of this video. For now, thank you for watching again, and I will see you in the next material.